Let's take a look at how we get a design into the Pro Spangle machine. In order to get a design over to the machine, the first thing we want to make sure on the control panel is that we're on the main menu, M1. Currently, we are in an auto running mode, which means we are in the middle of running a design. So the first thing we're going to do is end this run by hitting the end button. And now you can see we are on the main menu, M1. We now go over to our software and we open up our design. So I'm opening up this design called Tribal Turtle. And once we get the design on the screen, I want to make sure it's somewhat centered. And what we would like to do now is we want to take a look at the beads. So we go up to the stitch era symbol, we go to the send function, and we send the hotfix to ASP serial, which is what the command is to send the design to the machine. Once we're in here, we now go into the beads, and that shows us what sizes we're using for color one and color two in the design as well as the colors that we're going to use. So we're going to use silver for the first color, red for the second, and they're both two millimeter. We want to ensure that both of these boxes have check marks, which will ensure that it's going to send both sections of that design over to the machine. We now say OK. It now assigns the proper COM port, and if this design did not have a title, we could now put a title in there. This particular design has one, so I don't need to do that, and I hit the send command. Now we go back over to the machine, we go into the read function, and then we press the set button once. It tells me that it's going to put it in memory location number 10. A second time, it's telling me that the design has 3,828 spangles and I hit set one more time and you can see the numbers increasing showing that it's reading the data. When the file is completed it comes up with a message stating good which means the file is now in the memory of the machine.